Good morning guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about quite an interesting little species, something that a lot of guys haven't caught. Um, it's called the John Brown, if you want to be very English and specific, but more more appropriate name and the name used more probably is, is the Jan Brain. Now, Gymnocrotopus uh, curvidens is the scientific name, quite a tongue twister. They are a species that's probably more similar to a bronze bream hottentot type thing. So if you guys know those kind of species, a young brain is very similar, except he's kind of the ugly stepchild. Um, he's got the same overall body structure, but his face and everything got gnarly teeth. They just sit out. When you catch him, he actually he sits his jaw out like that, and these little, little stumpy teeth sticking out. Obviously, they're not dangerous, not like a shad or something with sharp teeth that can bite you. But those teeth are designed to, to graze on the, the rocks, similar to a bronze reef and a hottentot, and to pick out little shrimps and things like that that are actually actually growing on that rocky rocky substrata. Now, you're allowed five of them per day, that's under the regulation, and they are fairly rare to catch. It's not a fish that you can commonly go target. It's not like a bronze reef where you can follow and you can watch where they are in the, in the area and, and actually target them. You get one every now and again. Um, they are, as we mentioned, a shy fish, so it really comes down to this finesse kind of structure, finesse fishing, lighter hooks, snoots, smaller hooks. Um, they love sand prawn or cracker shrimp if you can get down, if you're down in the Cape. Obviously, you're gonna be using your mud prawns, up here, sand prawns. Very, very similar structure, but just nice small baits. Um, using your finer latex cotton, not your thick stuff, and a little bit like that, just to keep it bait nice and natural and neat. Also do like worms, obviously you can't catch them in case it in with the worms, but um, you don't really get them up here by us. In terms of locality, we touched on that, you're looking at, say, Port St. John's down to False Bays being the most, most commonly caught areas. Obviously they do extend above and below that, but they're common in those areas. Now, as we mentioned earlier, it's a rare catch, so when I say common, as in that's going to be the more likely area to catch and dispose of outside of that. Um, where, in terms of the water column and things like that, they're more of a near shore species. They like rocky gullies, ledges, um, any sort of rocky reef kind of structure. You do get them down to about 80 meters, but they're really more at home in the 20 meter to the shallows kind of zone. Um, as you mentioned, the feeding mechanisms, they are, they've got those teeth. They're overall like brownie olive color, that's why we say similar to a bronze bream. And they actually go and they'll graze on the rocks and uh, through the, the coral and the rocky reef area. So they're gonna be pulling off with those teeth and yeah, picking out any sort of small little bits of uh, crustaceans. Obviously, if they can get their hands on other things, they will eat them. When I say hands, I mean teeth. And yeah, it's uh, one of those species that not a lot of people have actually been able to catch. If, when it comes to hooks and sizes, like things like that, I'd say size one down. Um, you don't want to use a big hook, it's just going to put them off because it's a nice big chunky piece of metal there. And they, they get very, very finicky. Um, but yeah, the young brain, very, very interesting species. Definitely want to have on your species list. And one that, as we mentioned, not a lot of guys have actually caught. So it's something that you can go out and target. Use your, your bronze beam tackle that you've seen Ray and myself use multiple times. Go flick some light baits around in the little rockyish areas. And yeah, you definitely get the species list up quickly doing that. But yeah, guys, the bronze... Oh, the bronze beam. Oh, nearly went there. Cut on that one. So yeah, guys, the young brain. Um, very, very cool species. Very... Uh, um, special species in, in uh, South Africa and one you can definitely put on your list. Cheers!